I love robots because of the fact that they are the marriage of all the engineering disciplines. Mechanical, electrical, software, it requires all of those things to make it work. A good roboticist is someone who can seamlessly merge all those things together to make a good experience for the user. So here at Double, we build what's called a telepresence robot. So it's a robot that stands about human height, it holds an iPad in the top, and it has wheels on the bottom. So what this means is you can telecommute to a location when you're not actually there. You know, what makes a good engineering company, especially a good engineering startup, is the ability to solve problems quickly. Uh, so when we started a company, SolidWorks was our first choice. SolidWorks lets us analyze, you know, where the problems are going to be before we even make a part. Uh, it lets us move things around, uh, test different ideas, and iterate really quickly on a new product. You know, I love designing and building the robot. You know, I love to get in SolidWorks and build parts and figure out how it's going to go together. So another thing that SolidWorks helps us with is collaboration because we're able to work with uh, multiple team members on the same project uh, using PDM and we can check in parts and we can make sure that nobody's stepping on each other's toes as we're building things. Collaboration is really is really key there. It seems, it seems a little bit overkill for a battle bot, but it's essential when you're working with a team. I was about uh, 16 years old and I was just sitting at home one night and I was flipping the channels on the TV and I saw this show called BattleBots and it was on Comedy Central and I said that I have to do this. I have to get involved, I have to build one. My robot was terrible. It was, it was an awful wedge robot. I would, I would have hated myself for building this robot back, back then, but it was really all I knew how to do at that point. 13 years later, uh, I now have my own company building robots for a living, which is really cool. And we have a bunch of really great engineers here. And um, I was able to recruit some of them to work on the BattleBot with me and get them excited about it, just like I was when I was 17. You know, Mark dragged me into BattleBot. He came to me and he said, Angie, let me tell you about this. You're gonna love it, you're gonna wanna be involved. And he was right. The cool thing about BattleBots though is it still requires a lot of engineering skill to build one, and it requires all the same skills to build robots in real life. And if you can build a battle bot, then you can build real products that withstand you know, the abuse of, of normal life. It, it translates really well into every day because it teaches you to think about all the things that could possibly go wrong with any design. And you know, we make consumer products. SolidWorks helps immensely, honestly. There's just so many parts that need to come together. SolidWorks is a huge help in just making fabrication fast and easy. There's something really cool about putting your BattleBot in the arena and competing against another BattleBot and just when the sparks are flying and the shrapnel is hitting the window in front of you, there's an adrenaline rush that you don't get anywhere else. I owe almost everything I have in, uh, in my life to BattleBots. The knowledge that I gain from building BattleBots and the network of other competitors at BattleBots is crucial to uh, learning all the things you need to know to build a company.